right? The potato keller, kartoffel keller, is a potato restaurant, right, in Berlin, right? And no, it's not a novelty restaurant. I hate when people say novelty restaurant. It's a concept restaurant. There's a difference, it's conceptual. Oh my gosh, we're just walking up now to Kartoffel Keller. Is it gonna be iconic? Who knows? Is it gonna have branding? Is it gonna have potato options? We have just arrived. Right, so we get to the restaurant and it is Friday evening. And literally, it, we, we walk in and then look. Okay, so we're going in. Oh, oh my gosh, is it 50th birthday? No. Do not say the 50th birthday. Or was it 50 celebration? There was literally no seats. There was no seats. I'm just in now. We're seeing. Obviously, it's lots of German people. There won't be seats here, so I'm not really sure what's happening. But the like, it's quite flattering. I'm just there. Um, let me ask her. Let me ask her. It's sure going to happen. See, it's a plat for spy. It's tish for spy. I tried to put us in the room with the balloons. I was like. I'm there not just for the concept of potato, but I'm there for a vibe. Why I was so excited to go to the restaurant was because like, I really believe thoroughly Jack of all trades, master of none. Like, legit, if you go to a kebab shop and you order a pizza, has that pizza ever been good? Has that pizza ever been, ever been well esteemed? No, that pizza hasn't been well esteemed. The pizza hasn't been well esteemed because it's a kebab shop and they should stick to doing what they're doing, kebabs. She's just showing me now there's a table for two. North is fine, Loiter. Yeah. Like that was the waitress and she was so fucking iconic, literally walking around, literally in a sickening heavy metal. Like she gave, she gave little subtle hints of heavy metal and I loved that. And she was skinny as fuck. She was skinny and she was literally probably like 48, 50 and she was sick thin. And I'm like, girl, like that is why potatoes are not bad for you. So she's just cleaning the table for us. Um, and yeah, and then we'll be able to sit. And then we literally get the best table in the house. Yes, of course. She'd obviously heard me from the, the scene, the, the conceptual food scene. She cleared off these people and then she showed me and these are the best seat in the house. People are staring, but obviously because this outfit is sickening. It's a sickening outfit. That's why people are staring. I speak English, so people often do stare at Germany, we speak English and you have a sickening outfit. And that's fine. That's okay, we're in Germany. There was no cool people in there. Like everyone staring at me, obviously, because I looked sickening. So she actually yeah, gave us English oh, menus. Menus. So even she has English menus. My German's good, but she took me the English menu. That's what happens in there sometimes. It's handwritten. Handwritten menu. So like I open the menu and I was literally like squinting. Squinting. I was like, that's not a good shout. That is not a good shout. But at least you know they probably don't change the prices that much because otherwise it'd be a pain in the ass to handwrite everything out again. They have a handwritten menu, but maybe it's definitely been photocopied. Handwritten menu. Um oh we've got hash browns. Oh my god, hash browns with mint sweet tomato onions and sheep cheese. Is it all cheese from sheep? What's sheep cheese? Um, like sheep cheese. Stop it. There's gonna be a camera. Um sheep cheese, okay, but they have pork schnitzels. Shoe, no problem. Fried potatoes, bacon, onions, tomatoes. Lots, lots of potatoes, onions, and bacon, really. Not very good for a vegan. Potato desserts, is that like. That's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna try a dessert. Not a dessert person, but when you when you're in when you're in potato salad, you're in potato salad. Do you know what I mean? Like they had like no concept of starters really, which is a bit confusing to me because you could definitely up the ante with the starters, right? So they have like the starters seem to be very small because these baby potatoes can't be a starter. So it's like mashed potato soup. Mashed potato soup, mashed potato soup with sausages, small meat salads. Why at first it did look a bit pricier than a typical restaurant, where it is a concept restaurant, so what do you expect? Like when you realise that they don't really like push, like there's not really any starters apart from some, some weird soups. And there's like not really any sides, like you get what you're giving in this one meal. So you actually realise it's not actually too expensive. It's not. It's 18 euros, but you don't, they're not pushing. They're not pushing you. And they're not pushing some restaurant to go to. Yeah, they may maybe 10 euros, but they're pushing you. They're pushing sides on you and they're pushing starters on you. And no, this place didn't push anything on you at all. And that's what I liked. That's what I liked. There's no pushing. It's like you expect you go in there and you have to be one meal and that's it. In and out. But of course I did get dessert, but that comes up. So look, this is the branding. So it is a cute brand. I want to do, I want to do t-shirts. I'm not sure if I do t-shirts. Um, here's the information. And obviously there's a little tourist warning there. She's lovely, really good service. 
I can't so. I said she's so friendly. We had a little tiff, a lovers tiff, but she's been so accommodating to it. We're just standing there. And yeah, I like to say just in general, like it's a really nice atmosphere. It's like a little cellar. It is a cellar. It is a cellar. We're underground. My favorite waitress was killing it. She was literally killing it. It was her scene to slay. Like, literally, it was her scene to slay. Like, she literally, she was doing a Lana, Lana Del Rey white, white dress moment. It was a Lana Del Rey, Lana Del Rey white dress moment. She was a waitress wearing the black ensemble. The, the, the potato restaurant was her man. Look how she got this. And this guy here is so tall, so iconic. He's so, he is the, got the potato ca color vibe. The potato oh, color vibe, iconic, iconic look. So the food has just arrived and there's a mountain of potatoes. It's what I love to see. We love to see it at the potato potato restaurant. Here we go. Of course you have to put some salt on. People are like, oh, it's not bad for you, it's not bad for you. Get over it. He's got no calories in, so get over it. Seriously. Actually, the salad doesn't look too bad. It's got something when they go tomatoes. I would eat that salad. Ooh. Yes, they're amazing. The mains are fucking amazing, like, literally, potatoes are amazing, soft but crunchy a little bit, like, the meat, the pork, oh my gosh, like, I was so satisfied, right? Honestly, the potatoes are fucking amazing. Mmm, but they are the perfect amount of soft, with a tiny bit of crunch, a temptation, a little bit of crunch, but they're not like super crunchy, but they're not super soft, they're like the perfect equilibrium of what a potato should be like. And I hate when pork is chewy, it's a pork at all, but the so pork is not I'm chewy pork. at all. Like it's just, it melts in your mouth, pork. Oh. Yeah, it was bland, but then also like, the colour of the restaurant did sort of like, like did sort of provoke the feeling of a potato. Yeah, it did provoke the feeling of potato. It was warm, it was cuddly, it was soft a little bit. Like, it was nice, soft touches, soft tones. Mid-tones were on point. So, the decor, decor a lot. They have a potato and leek recipe. They have this lovely uh, Getty Images 2000 picture of potato. There's just more things I'm noticing now. Everywhere you look, there's a potato-themed artwork. Other potatoes over there. So, we have some sort of seance, potato seance area. Cutoff or a cutoff or sound area going on here. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know. I don't really know what they're going for yet. Lots of beer. See the toilet. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, what the fuck? No. Get out. Obviously, you just saw that. Obviously, you just saw. Yeah, the toilet was fucking disappointment. And that camper van, that fucking camper van, why is that, that camper van is fucking disgusting. We, everyone's seen that image. It's like the London black and white image of Piccadilly and the, the bus is in red. Or like the, the Piccadilly signage is colourful and the rest is in black and white. No, stop that. We don't like that. We don't want those pictures in our house. We don't want those pictures in our restaurants either. So this is a dessert. The main was amazing. He's on his main. But it looks like just like a potato waffle from Murtai in a deep fat fryer. <laughs> And lots of cream. I mean, I, I appreciate the artisticness of it. I do. It's, but it looks like a, a deep fat fried potato waffle from Mojo. But let's see how it goes. Just the whole atmosphere was so chill and nice and it was just like as soon as you put your hand up for attention you got attention but no one hassling you no 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 they weren't a hassler they weren't a hassle harrier they weren't a hassling harry no 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 they were literally so good at the service i was like probably the best service i've ever had in berlin i would say the second best but at these concert restaurants you do get good service at the garlic restaurant you do get good service and that just adds to the experience so the bill was perfectly priced we gave a tip of course of so much over 10 percent um Actually, really good for what we got, and they give us these little Halloween sweets. And like, instead of the garlic restaurant, they always have some sort of Halloween linkage. So I don't know what that is. I can't remember a finger on it, but yeah. But overall, I'd say food fucking incredible. I'd say four point five or four point seven five out of five. Like, and actually, like in a way, like the fact that you didn't have dips made it better because the dip would have just covered the taste. So four point seven out of five, right? The staff five out of five. The, the price is, yeah, I will say 4.75 out of 5, I will. The menu choice, yeah, it was lots of potatoes, as you can see, but, like, there's a potato restaurant, get over it. Um, and, like, I would say, like, the patrons, 1 out of 5, apart from me, and probably the one that gives it the 5. But, like, still, it was good. It was a good place not to be seen, right? Sometimes, like me, you want to be seen, right? You go to the gallery of places and you want to be seen. This restaurant, you'd not want to be seen. 
low key in the cellar. Like, literally low key in the cellar, sunglasses on, you walk in, you sit in the corner, no one bothers you. Yeah, people might look at you when you go to the toy there, but baby, if you've got the stardom power, you have the stardom power. And if you have the fashion looks, you have the fashion looks, people will follow you, people will watch, but we're attention positive and we like that. Anyway, so definitely check out Cartoffel Keller. 